Our first experiment is on how different objects fall and the change in momentum when it actually hits an object. We wanted to experiment with the um, shock of the force of an impact and how different materials can actually affect that. And we're going to be using eggs and three different materials and the impact that they have once they hit those different materials to showcase this. Okay, so the way we have this experiment set up, we're going to have one egg land on this concrete here. And over here, as you can see, we'll have one egg land in this lawn area right here. And going back to the concrete, we'll have one egg land on this pile of shirt, uh, shirts here on the concrete. And we'll see if that changes the effects of impulse at all. When the time of impact is short, you have to increase the force to keep momentum constant. However, when you increase the time of impact, you can reduce the force. Okay, for this demo, we're going to be testing refraction on a stream of water. So we're going to be using this laser pointer and shine it through the bottom of this water bottle. And as the water bottle streams, hopefully we'll see a refraction pattern for going through the stream as it goes down. As you can see, as the water stream falls down, the laser also falls with it. In reality, the water is actually causing the laser to be reflected within the stream. Alright, so for this demo, we're going to be doing the classic soda can into ice water. So we're heating up this soda can right now, and once it's to the boil once the water inside it, it's to the boiling point, we're going to be dumping it face down into that ice bowl. Uh, just some precautions for this experiment. We have safety goggles here, I have my uh, oven mittens here, and I'll be using these tongs to move that soda can into the bucket. Let's go. For this experiment, when the water inside of the can is heated to the boiling point, it creates water vapor inside the can, which just pushes out the air. And then when the can is dumped into cold water, all that can, like air vapor condenses into one or two drops of water, which uh, quickly just takes in all of the space, um, and then air pressure crushes the can so that there is not a vacuum inside of the can.